Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download mods from GitHub. Uh, more specifically, the mod that I've been using in my recent Blue and Sour Defense 6 videos, the Ancient Monkey mod. So you first you want to go onto GitHub, uh, which is G-I-T-H-U-B. Um, then you want to go, you want to search for Ancient Monkey. It's one word. Uh, you search for that and then it's going to be this a result right here. It's the first result. I'll leave the link to this page in the description for this video. For whatever reason, the page is a little broken for me. Let me try refreshing it. There we go. Now that looks right. Um. So yeah. So you just come over to releases here if you want to get the latest uh, release. It's right here. Otherwise, you can go to releases and then you can scroll through the different releases that are available. But yeah, let's just go with the latest release, which is what I've been using. Click on that, and you want to download ancientmonkey.dll. So let's it'll, that'll bring up your downloads fo folder, which obviously you guys can't see mine, but you guys will see it in a second. Um, and then it'll get added to your downloads at the top. You guys can't see it, but um, and then with with .dll uh, files, it may actually. Can you guys see mine? You might. You guys might be able to see it. I'm not sure. But anyways, uh, with .dll files, uh, sometimes it'll say unverified download blocked. Uh, just click it, and then you can either delete from history, download unverified file, just download unverified file. If you guys get a virus, I pro I haven't gotten a virus since doing it this way. I apologize if, <laughs> if anyone gets a virus from this. You shouldn't. You really shouldn't. Um, I've downloaded plenty of mods this way and haven't had a problem so anyways beyond that let's uh okay so yeah so like i said it's gonna get added to your downloads folder as you can see here um now what you can do is you can just uh copy it so we can copy it and then we're gonna want to go to the uh the folder for BTD6, which is in your Steam, or go to Steam library, Steam apps, common BTD6. Uh, otherwise, you can just, if you have Steam, go, uh, you'd need Steam, obviously. Uh, go to Steam, uh, go to uh, your library, go to where your games are, uh, look up, search for Balloon Star Defense 6, uh, click on the cogwheel, manage, and then browse local files. That should be pretty easy to figure out for you guys. Uh, but, if you guys need any help with that, let me know. Um, but yeah. So you're going to want to go to uh, the folder. Go to where it says mods. I already have some mods in here, as you can see. Um, I already have the ancient monkey mod. So if we just were to delete that. And then yeah. So we can paste the one that we had before. Just paste it. That'll uh, paste the ancient monkey mod, as you can see right there. And then, now that should work fine if we load up BTD6 now. If it'll let me. There we go. Just need to wait for the game to load up. So now it should load up with the mods uh, that I have here, as you can see. Um, give it a second. Okay, there we go. Um, there we go. Now we're good. Okay. Let me turn down the volume a little bit. Yeah. So now you want to cut, if you go over to mods, then obviously this mod can be updated. But yeah, so there you go. Ancient monkey mod. So yeah, so this this works with you know anything if you want to update it at any point this will update all mods the latest version you no know, for for the confirmation and so yeah so the so updating mods is pretty easy to do um so yeah that's that's how you uh you know if you want to download the ancient monkey mod like what i've been using that's the way to do it now uh i'm gonna bring up uh, some other 
mod. Here, let me just close out of that. Close out of... There we go. Okay. I'm gonna bring up some other mods for things like Lethal Company. So Lethal Company is another game that I've been playing a lot, or, you know, played quite a bit before. Not so much recently, but before I was playing quite a bit of it. And so it's the same thing with releases. If you wanted to download this mod for Lethal Company, this is where you would download it. And then you need, like, um, need Thunderstore. I'm not going to be talking exactly how to download mods for, like, every game. But this is just another example. Lethal Company is another game that I've played. This is just an example. This is where you go. Same, same ordeal. Just download it from here. Click this. It's a, you know, you can sometimes, some mods you might need the, uh, need it as a zip. Otherwise, uh, you can just usually download it as a .dd, uh, .dll um, and then just add it wherever the mods uh, folder is for uh, the for the game that you're trying to play. Um, now there are some mods that I may be, I may be mistaken. Maybe you can download the mod from this page, but there's no releases for it. So that has me immediately from at least from my small brain that doesn't fully understand how this whole thing works entirely. My immediately immediate reaction is okay, this is probably a mod that just can't be downloaded. Um at least from the GitHub page. You know, it may they may have obviously this is Lethal Company, so they might have added the mod to the Thunderstore where all the other mods are. But immediately it seems like you probably can't download it, at least from the GitHub page. Now, maybe someone in the comments. If someone in the comments knows a workaround, maybe you don't have to download it straight from the releases. Maybe there's a different part here, a different folder or whatever that you can download the mod from. Um, but just, and same goes for this one, the Shrinkberry mod. This is actually a mod that I looked into trying in one of my uh, in when I played Lethal Company with like a group of friends. Thought about playing with this mod, but couldn't really find a way to download it. So it would actually be really helpful if someone knows a way to download the mod, even though there's no release releases for it. If that is possible, if it is possible to to download the mod, even while there's no releases. So yeah, that's uh, that's. I mean, the best guide that I could probably provide on how to download mods, obviously, like I said, some mods doesn't really seem like you can download them, or at least there's no, like, easy way to do so. Um, and then other other mods, like the Lethal Company Game Master and the Ancient Monkey mod, pretty easy to download. You just have to go to GitHub and go to um, their pay the page for the mod, and then download it through the releases, and move the mod into the game's respective mod folder. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, I hope this was a, a educational and, you know, useful mod for you, or uh, mod, modding guide um, for you guys, and yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.